Patricia has claimed on multiple occasions that 2005 was the year that most of her trauma took place. Even going so far as to claim that she was stuck in that era because it's when the trauma happened, which is why she finds it to be difficult to move on from that specific time in her life. She even states that it's why she named her mock emo band Sad Boy 2005. So obviously I go to therapy. I don't know if that's obvious, but I do go to therapy. And I talk a lot about like retraction and stuff and how I'm like regressing to that age because I didn't get to be that age. I think I've always joked like, oh, I'm stuck in 2005 or whatever. And that's because like, I wish I could have been just a normal teenager in 2005. Like, I think I missed out so much. That was when I first started like escaping, I feel. When I was like younger going through trauma, I really didn't think of it as trauma. But then like I, once I started realizing like the effect it had on me, which was around the time I was 17, which is 2005. Um, that's why my band is called 2005. Because <laughs> I, that's when I had to start escaping. So I would escape through my chemical romance and girls next door. Right now I'm going like through something that like reverting to 2005, which for those of you who don't know or are maybe unaware, sometimes like I get, I'm stuck in 2000s. Like it's very apparent with my bleach blonde hair and Playboy and you know, Britney and flare jeans and high wedge flip flops. Like I'm very juicy couture. I'm very stuck in that era. And a lot of people are like, this is really weird. Well, going through therapy, I have learned that like some people revert back to the year that trauma happened to them. So like whatever year some traumatic thing happened, you kind of revert back to that, whether you're three, whether you're five, whether you're 15, whether you're 25, like if you had some sort of trauma, sometimes, sometimes not everybody, but you can revert back to that year before the trauma happened. So for me, 15 was kind of what somewhat of my last innocent year, I guess you could say, or innocence. Like In that last clip, she says that her trauma happened in 2005, but then goes on to say that she reverted to the year before her trauma happened which was when she was 15 years old. Trisha would have been 15 in 2003, not 2005. So if the last year before her trauma happened was 2003, why is she stuck in 2005? She claims it was her last year of innocence, but how is that possible if she claims to have been S.A.D. since she was 5 years old? Which would have been way back in 1993. Again, she clarifies here that 2005 was the year all of her trauma happened. Well, the I only tell myself in 2005. That's why my band is 2005 because it was the most trauma of my life because teachers wouldn't leave me alone and they come to my house uh, and just R word me. I just think she claims her teachers R worded her in 2005 and she kept having got switched schools. But she says here that she was no longer even in school in 2005 because she dropped out for two years. I had a, I had two car crashes since summer 2018. Two, two times when I crashed my car. Um, yeah, that's a whole other thing. And so it kind of trauma traumatized me and i kind of like reversed back to 2005 and a lot happened in 2005 it's not the year i graduated um sorry i'm burping i wasn't even in school in 2005 I, I didn't do school for like two years from 2004 to um from 2004 to like 2000 no like 2003 freshman my second half of freshman year i quit I like switched schools a bunch of times and then I like homeschooled for a year and a half and I didn't go to school. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. But yeah, 2005 was like, was the year, it's got called like the disappearing act. I became a different person and I became, um, I like, I killed like the Trish I knew from before 2000, like I killed her. And then I became like Trish that you saw like from 2006 to like, I don't know, like last year. Not only that, but she has spoken multiple times about how 2005 was her last year of innocence before trauma. Um, made in 2005, 2005, <gasps> Sad Boy 2005. Do you guys understand like why I call maybe on Sad Boy 2005? Because this is like literally like the era that I loved. Um, it was a time in my life before I started spiraling down. I feel like 2005 was like my last year of innocence, my last year of like, oh, things are good and everything's happy and everybody is great. To be like, for me, 2006, 2005, 2006 is 15. So 2005 is like my 15. 15 is like the year. There's two traumatic years for me. And specifically 15 was a very traumatic year. So that was a year a lot of shit happened and went down. So for me, I reg Sorry, my sister was literally climbing. Um, 
but yeah like that was like a really that was like the, the, the year my last year I guess innocence I guess you could say again she claims 2005 was the last year of innocence and nothing happened in it but remember again what she said on frenemies she said 2005 was the very year all of the trauma happened. <laughs> well, the only tell myself in 2005. That's why my band is 2005 because it was the most trauma of my life because teachers wouldn't leave me alone and they come to my uh, house and just R word me. I just think. How is it that 2005 was the year that all of her trauma happened while simultaneously being the last year of her innocence? You can't even argue that maybe it happened later in the year 2005 because Trisha spoke of her fondest Christmas memory and it happened in 2005. So was 2005 her last year of complete innocence, or was it the year that all of her alleged trauma took place? It can't be both.